on 2K Sports for Wednesday night action in the NBA. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. D.A., it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, the Atlanta Hawks are a team trying to rise. With Trey Young shooting from the logo and setting the table, and John Collins banging on people's heads. Collins said, we're definitely going to have the best pick and roll chemistry in the league for years to come. We'll see about that, guys, but they are very promising. They're fun to watch, D.A., thanks. Terrific, talented backcourts tonight. Greg, did it ever add anything for you playing across another top-level guard? Listen, it raises the stakes, no doubt about it. You always want the opportunity to play against the best because you want to see where you stand. But in the end, even when you know a guy's better than you, and you're going to have that be the case a lot of nights, you still know that you will have an ability to impact the outcome when it comes to winning. And, and that's where you have to keep your focus. Now Golden State's starting five. Wiggins in the front court. We He's there with Green. Backcourt guards are Curry and Thompson. And it's Wiseman in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Hawks, inside, it's Collins and Capella. Trey Young is out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Gallinari in at the three slot. On its way from Curry for two, cans the shot from the wing. The versatility of Curry in the pick and roll. He can make a play for himself, the roller, or someone else on the perimeter. Now, here is Young. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Curry against Young. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Trey Young. Great awareness from Stephen Curry to be able to use the drive and see the lane and get into the teeth of the defense. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. Free throw good, Curry. And, and you just got to love Steph's passion for the game. He, even his pregame workout has drawn attention. G.A., let me give you this little story. One time in high school, he got so pumped before a game, he actually hurt himself. He jumped up, hit his forehead, and had to get stitches. The man just loved to play, and he loved this game. Stephen Curry hits them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Young against Curry. And Young, here we go. And he finishes nicely on the layup. The threat of Young's jumper forces defenders to play him close making it easier for him to get by his man. Here's Curry. Takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Curry's got six. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. And the second season for Trey Young, just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Uh, Greg, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top point guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. And he makes the first. And the amount of pressure that Trey Young puts on a defense is staggering. He's either carving you up with his passing or hitting you with that jump shot. You know, G.A. Trey Young is the type of player that can lead this league in scoring and in assists. And also possibly could do it in the same season. For a youngster, he sees a lot of double teams. It's impressive how he handles it. Now here's Thompson, and stolen by Bogdanovich. It's three on three on the fast break. Thompson with the rebound. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Higgins outside. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. That's his first foul. Yeah, a couple turnovers here early on in the quarter, but he's got to just tighten it up a little bit. And so it's Atlanta with it. 
Passes it to Collins. Inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And it goes on Draymond Green. Well, when you play as hard as Collins does, you're going to get to the foul line. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tack from inside as well as outside. And that one falls for Collins. And Collins said so himself. He believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. You know what, G.A.? I love the confidence from him. And you look year to year, his numbers are improving at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. So he gets them both. What's interesting about John Collins, he plays fast, but he's also measured in his approach. Now here's Curry. He has six. He takes it in. That one doesn't go. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Young taking his time here. And the shot goes in. Young's got eight. The ability of Trey Young to take it up inside makes him difficult to pressure out on the perimeter. Pass to Wiseman for the three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Atlanta leading by four. Young inside. Guarded by Kirk. He makes another one. That's four up and four in to start his game. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Thompson dishes to Weissman. Outside Curry. They can't stop the run with that one. The Hawks have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Here's Bogdanovich. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Attacking the rack to great effect. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Atlanta. Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They are penetrating, find the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Yeah, they're showing some muscle also in the first half as well and, and getting a lot of their points in the paint. Really like the balance they've shown. It seems like every year, Greg, we see some incredible new players come to the NBA and they are welcome with open arms. Their, their style of play is so terrific. No doubt about it. You know, guys like John Moran, I think he's got a chance to be one of the greats. And any list about the future of the NBA has to include Luka Doncic. I don't know if there's a better basketball talent than that young man. And, you know, let's not forget about Devin Booker out in Phoenix as well. A terrific, terrific player. Three terrific kids. You're right. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Now here's Wiseman. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Bogdanovich inside. Working on Green. Bogdanovich, no luck. Curry with it. He has six. Higgins outside. Curry with it. And Young picks him up defensively. Six to shoot. Hits in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Young against Curry. And Trey Young hits from deep. Young's got 13. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack and it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Wiggins. And 
and the rejection by Collins. Right there, the length of Collins proving to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. Curry passes to Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Nailed from three-point land. He's got 11. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Here's Young. Green with the block. Green really puts forth a ton of effort on the defensive side. Always a shot-blocking threat. Young with no one around. Another three for Atlanta. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Young against Curry. Oubre outside. Driving inside. Lays it up off the glass. Good vision from Steph. But for that play to work, you also have to get open. Steph put it on the money. Young drives in. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Wiggins finds Curry. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Now, here is Young. He's got 18. And stolen by Wiggins. Here's Bogdanovich. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. And as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. throw good Bogdanovich and doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing he's perfect from the line this time and it's the Warriors with the ball it's a 10 point game Oubre passes to Wiseman. Back to Oubre. Outside, Green. Just five to shoot. And the rejection by Collins. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Atlanta making some changes. Okongwu's checked in for Clint Capella. And it's Reddish in for Bogdanovich. And then for Golden State, Chris, he's checked in for Wiseman. And it's Eric Pascal in for Green. Here's Curry, two on the clock. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Curry's got 15. Stephen Curry is great off the dribble, but he also is good at the catch-and-shoot. Young inside, guarded by Curry. Young's shot is good, and the Hawks lead by 10. Throughout the evening, he's got to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. Curry with it, and Young picks him up defensively. Here's Pascal. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. You love Curry's command of this offense. The ability to pass time with out, either out. hand. And now the first timeout called here for the Hawks. And because of the versatility, Pascal is a guy you can kind of plug into almost any lineup. Has just enough length, GA, and strength and skill in shooting. Doesn't stand out in one area. But as a whole, he's a difference maker at both ends.
So for the Hawks, Hunter comes in for Gallinari. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Trey Young. And so it's Atlanta with it. They're leading by eight. Collins finds Rondo. Now, here's Hunter, covered by Oubre. Hunter, no good. Warriors have gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. Curry passes to Wiggins. Over Reddish. Atlanta with the rebound. Now Rondo. Okongwu kicks to Collins. Driving the lane. And as it goes out of bounds, Atlanta able to keep the ball here. Goes in first of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Curry deciding where to go with it. There's a screen by Chris. Another three for Golden State. And Atlanta has possession. Seven point differential. Now, oh, here's Hunter. D right on him. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Haskell with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. Charity stripe shot. And the Warriors tack on two more. And with that mid-range jumper, Wiggins has the lift to shoot over almost anyone. And here's Rondo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And finished off by Collins. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. A three-pointer off the mark. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Hunter with it. Curry meets him. Okongwu kicks to Collins. Five to shoot. There's the pick. Outside for Ronda. Collins setting the pick for Hunter. Driving in. And it's Hunter with the jam. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. Curry shot is off. The Hawks leading by 11. Hey, hey, 132 left here in the opening quarter. Cowan setting the pick for Reddish. And he uses the glass on the layup. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And the Warriors miss again. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Now the dish to Hunter. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. The shot by Okongwu. No good. Warriors trail by 13. Here's Curry. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Rondo passes to Reddish. Takes the three. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got three assists tonight. It's early, but they are getting pummeled on the glass. Now, here's Curry. He dishes it to Wiggins. 
some nice passing by Golden State. Here's a screen by Chris. Curry, good. I mean, Steph's elite scoring ability plus his relentless approach equals greatness. Now here's Rondo. And no good on the last second attempt this time. Trey Young, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Atlanta Hawks. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. So, Greg, as you know, we asked Steph Curry, a great self-motivator in his own right, who holds you to the highest standard? And here's what he had to say. Oh, my wife, for sure. No, never ever want to disappoint her. She shoots it to me straight. That's the biggest thing, whether I play well or not. I don't get too big of a head or I don't feel too, uh, too down on myself either. Sounds like he's got a good team, both at home and right here in front of us. Steph has already put up a Hall of Fame career but you can tell he doesn't feel anywhere near being done. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, we've seen the Hawks really take control here. Attacking, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the line. Some people might feel they got some hometown calls, but when your team is pushing the action, you often get the benefit of the doubt. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Setting the floor for the Warriors. The guard pair are the incredible Curry and Thompson. Eric Paschal out there with Draymond Green. And it's Wiseman in at the five down low. Thompson high post. He's against Young. Curry finds Thompson. Now here's Paschal. Fade away. No good. Here's Herder. No points in the game yet for him. It's blocked. Thompson with it. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Fades. And the Warriors miss again. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Gallinari surveying the D. Capella trying to free himself up, and it's blocked. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Green with a screen on Gallinari. Atlanta leading by 14. Golinari a screen on Curry. That's their first of the game, though, so sharp passing has helped them to craft this lead. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. And there's the call on Clay Thompson. And that'll be his third foul so far. Capella sets a screen for Young. He kicks to Gallinari over Green. And there's Gallinari on the assist by Young. Gallinari's got the lead up to 14 now for Atlanta. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Curry dishes to Wiseman. The shot from the low post is good. Wiseman's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Young with the ball. Now Green defending. Golinari with a screen for Bogdanovich. He was all alone on that one. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused 
and they've executed. And Curry, here we go. And Capella sends it back. Quick off the floor, has that long reach. Capella there with the intimidation. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, thanks very much, Kevin. Clint Capella is a seven-footer in track shoes. He said, I always try to have that pace. Whenever I sprint, I have an impact on the offense. I try to focus on that and keep my energy up. Guys, guards love big men who run the floor as hard as Capella. Back to you. He is indeed, David, very athletic. Thanks. Now, here is Young, following the miss by Draymond Green. Scouting report is, be physical with Trey Young. And every night, he finds ways to still make plays. And for a long time, Atlanta had been searching for a legitimate center. Seems like they found their guy in Clint Capella. Yes, and Clint Capella is limited offensively, but that's not his job. What Clint Capella does do, he does very well. He's a terrific rebounder, and he will have a lot of room to finish at the rim, as he does with power. Here's Young after the made shot from Clay Thompson. Colin Aria screen on Curry. Green with the block. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. Chris Dunn's check in for Kevin Herter. Dunn passes to going up. Shot clock at three. Bogdanovich, no luck. Warriors trail by 14. Now Curry. He's got 22. A three ball. Gets it to fall, and now he's 10 of 15 on the game. There it is. His first make from beyond the arc in the second quarter. His third of the game. Golinari has screen on Curry. Here's Young, and the rejection by Curry. Love seeing Stephen Curry get up and send that one back. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That's good from Young. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts hmm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Up top, Curry. Going on recovering. Count it. Curry's got five points now in the quarter. Stephen Curry tenacious on his attacks to the hoop. Young against Curry. Pass to Capella. Here's Bogdanovich. Shoots over Curry. The Hawks again can't hit. Warriors trail by 11. There's the pass to Thompson. And here is Capella. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Now, here is Young. The three. Green with the rebound. Well, he was in rhythm, hitting two threes in the opening quarter, but hasn't made one since. Curry against Young. Curry kicks to Thompson. Haskell with a screen for Thompson. Hits the three-point bomb. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. 
Passes it to Bogdanovich. Alinari outside. Dishes it to Young. Great tee that time from Curry. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Young against Thompson. Basket counts. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. The Hawks leading by six. Atlanta calls timeout. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. And the Hawks with a completely new group on the floor. Then for the Warriors, Marquis Chris, he's checked in for Wiseman. Oubre comes in for Draymond Green. And Wiggins is subbed in for Eric Paschal. Hunter dishes to Okongwu. Here's Reddish. He has five. Can they get it? And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Andrew Wiggins. A strong element to Cam Reddish's game is his counter moves that leave defenders helpless. Well, many question the selection of Reddish in the draft. Pundins thought he had red flags. But, Greg, he developed nicely over his first season in the league. You know, Reddish caught up to the speed of the NBA, found his shot, and, and started to play with confidence. Sometimes it takes a little time for young guys to adjust. First one falls for him. Greg, so many people know your story. Born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling, and yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. And here's Rondo following the basket by Stephen Curry. Hunter, no good. Warriors trail by six. Outside Curry. Kicks it to Wiggins. Atlanta's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Now here's Reddish. Covered by Wiggins. Here's Collins. Unable to get that one. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Thompson right side. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And I like the way they're using the entire court here in the second quarter. The three-point percentage has gone through the roof. Rondo passes to Hunter. With the drive, Collins trying to break free. Can't get it to fall. And so it's Wiggins with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. They trail by three. Chris finds Curry. 
The three. Trying to get open is Ubre. Rebounded by the Hawks. Collins has got rebound number five here tonight. Rondo with the ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Knocks down the three ball. Rondo from outside. How about that? Warriors trail by six. Thompson, high post. Ten points for him. Pass to Chris. Oubre outside. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Hawks leading by six. Rondo kicks to Reddish. Hawks passing it around. Pass to Okongwu. Four on the shot clock. Here's Hunter. It's rebounded by Golden State. Doesn't register as a block, but he did everything you want defending that shot. You know what he did? He timed it well and did a good job of contesting without committing the foul. And Chris throws it down. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Collins against Zubre. Collins setting the pick for Hunter. He scores the basket. That's field goal number three for him. Awesome concentration there. When Hunter's committed to scoring, he's hard to stop. Now Curry. The tray. And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Play it looked like you really wanted to come out strong offensively tonight. Yeah, you know, I was trying to come out and put my game and uh, stay aggressive, you know. Uh, I need a score to help this team win. I think me and the printer players doing a good job of that. You guys do get energy from seeing the ball go in the basket. Thanks, Clay. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. We saw Trey Young lighting it up in the first half. He ended up with 26 points, two rebounds, and one assist. He's been a different player than he was their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? Clearly, this game is all about ice Trey. This guy's confidence is incredible. When he gets into a rhythm, he takes over games. Shaq, how'd you think the Warriors were playing? I think they let the game come to them, but they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. 